Whoa, <laughs> we are live. What a game of football we just witnesses, people, right? Manchester United to Liverpool to the red hot rivalry is one of the most fiercely contested and historical rivalries in English football. And today, what we witnessed was a game of two halves. As well, football is a game of two halves. I mean, this rivalry go dates back in centuries where the two footballing giants has clashed so many times before. But at Old Trafford, Jurgen Klopp is chasing for the title race and Manchester United huffed and puffed and managed to put a spanner in the wheel for Jurgen Klopp. I'm so proud of the overall performance. You know what I mean? Because first half to me was a testament of engine, of creativity, of not really matching the Liverpool's midfield, you know. Um, easily to say that your first 10 minutes in the first half was the, similar the way we started in the FA Cup. But then we kind of let them back into the game. We were overflooded in the midfield and something had to change. Something had to change, right? So we could have been up, down 2-0 in the first half, but the resilience at the end of the day, I mean... That goal that went in, um, I don't know, in the first half was a little bit dubious. Like, you know, we, we could have marked it better, but we, we, we seem to do that on set pieces. We're missing the marking. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to give Onana great credits in the first half. Oh, my God, the numbers of saves, he did absolutely massive improvements. I mean, this game, as per usual, form goes out the window. It is who blinks first and who dares to do something. I would say that at the end of the day, what we're going to do here on this live stream, the panel is coming in. We're going to do the player ratings in the video description here or, you know, in the QA section in the chat. You can actually go and vote for the man of the match. But, you know, this was very unanticipated because most of us thought we were in for trashing. We're weak in defense, but Willy Kwambala, give him the roses, the 18-year-old defender playing alongside Harry Maguire. What a performance he did as well, you know. Like, in terms of bragging rights, nobody can have the bragging rights more than Manchester United right now to pat themselves to the back. At least we didn't lose. At least we stopped Liverpool getting up on the top. Yeah, it's historical, historical. But at the end of the day, it hurts. Second half, it hurts. Because second half, we, we saw a different Manchester United fired up at Ten Hag's words. And Bruno Fernandes stepped up with a beautiful captain's goal. What a bloody shot. What a lob. What a long distance shot. You got to give Bruno the roses for that one. And from there on, the confidence grew within the lads. The confidence grew within the lads. We huffed and puffed and we pushed and pushed. Liverpool tried different combinations. The mistake again, subbing up there. You know, Klopp need to refresh. He puts in Joe Gomez. Rashford goes out. We sub in Rash instead of Rashford. We, we get, you know, Anthony as well. Brilliant Anthony as well coming in doing what Anthony does best as well, tracking back and everything. But what about that goal from Kobe Maino? The serenity in the store, Kobe Maino run himself ragged in certain ways. Because if you look at our midfield, they were dominating in our midfield, and Kobe Maino was playing almost a single pivot. Casimir was good, but he was way too sloppy at some moments. And, you know, they stole the ball out of Casemiro, but still, at the end of the day, big up for Casemiro for standing up the full 90 minutes to play this game as well. I want to hear from you guys as well. What do you think? You know, leave us a super chat. Let us know what you think or just a chat. At the end of the day, it is so, so, so damning because I felt a little bit confident there. Like, you know, when we were up to 2-1, 85 minutes, <sighs> sloppy defending again, and Casemiro... <sighs> Again, doing what Casemiro does. But, you know, it came, comes down to Aaron Van Bissaka. The lounge, the clip, was that necessary? I mean, if you look at the replay, really, it doesn't really touch him. But, it, you know, the lounge itself, Anthony Taylor at the limelight, he's got to be the hero, awards the penalty and 2-2, two, two, right? Mo Salah steps up, and you know when Mo Salah steps up, there will always be a goal. The emotions are pretty mixed at this stage for me. I'm thinking, are we going to do what we did against Chelsea? Are we going to sort of let this one go? Are we going to drop mentality drop? No, I think 
the substitution at the end of the day paid out. Like, you know, you, you it was a little bit weird one to, to, to sub out, like, you know, um, Ganacho. It was a little bit weird for Ganacho to be subbed out for Amrabat. But in a way, you kind of understood that Ganacho has been run ragged. We needed to sort of close off the game a bit, like, you know, solidify so we don't get away with a 3 2 uh, loss. So a 2 2, win, lose, draw, 2 2, I think against Liverpool at home. It's a fair and square result. Although, although I'm not angry, I'm not mad. I'm just happy that we didn't concede a 3 2 goal at the end of the day. The boys were fighting in the second half, and it was a game of two halves, people. Let me know what you think as well. Is this one of the unforgettable matches what rivalries can produce with Manchester United and Liverpool? This could have been a totally different result at the end. You know, at the end, we, we had some counterattacks. We could have almost buried it for three two, but we didn't. So realistically speaking, two two is the result on the scoreboard. Two two is what happened. <sighs> Statistically speaking, if we look at it, like you know, we had zero shots on target in the first half, but we turned it around. You know, it was a game of two halves. Like you know, overall, Liverpool had twelve shots on target of goal. Right? No, no total shots on goal. Uh, they had 28 and we had nine, still 28 shots. But how many did that actually go in, right? Shots on goal, seven, and we had five. So we're starting to improve a little bit in terms of ball possession. Yeah, Liverpool had more of the ball possession, but they would always have that ball possession. In terms of passes completed, 85% for Liverpool and 77 for us. <sighs> Goalkeepers, savers, my God. Onana did six saves, right? Onana did six saves. And their keeper, I can't really remember what his name, Gallagher, did three saves. So, Jesus Christ. Are you happy with this 3-3? Are you satisfied? I'm waiting for my panel to come in. There is nobody here but myself. So big up to you. Big up for, for everyone. Let me hear what you are saying here in the comments. And let's continue like this. What you saying here, Dark Roy? What you saying, Lucky Singh would be a better mood mod than Jamie Wayne? Okay, <laughs> right, cool, cool. Uh, maybe Lucky Singh would be a better referee than Anthony Taylor, for fuck's sake. To be honest, United three, Liverpool two. That's the final score. What you saying, Fulahin? That was uh, preloaded before, but that didn't happen. It was two two for Fulahin. Sanjay Ramato, what you saying here, my buddy? It's reality taking a toll on my mental health. Mental United, welcome to the stream. Talk to us as well. Might post a link later on for you to have a say. I'm not upset that we actually had a draw, right? If we remember, everyone was expecting us to lose, and we could always snatch this victory, but we didn't. Lilis United, big up Kaisi Brat. I hate Onana like the goalkeeper. Why concede always stupid goals? Uh, one Liverpool score was in the mid of the god uh, in the good for sec. Okay, right. No, I don't agree with you. I thought Onana had a brilliant... I mean, everyone has an opinion, but if you look at Onana's goalkeeping today, it was good. I think that the defending of front Onana was a little bit chaotic. Like, you know, we couldn't really hold the ball. Like, you know, we couldn't really do proper clearances at the end of the day. And if you look at the first half, we couldn't even get out of, a, you know, in the midfield. Like, you know, we were sloppy in possession. But that thing's, I, I think it's changed in the second half. We were much, much better. As per saying, like, you know, football is a game of two halves, Lilis. The number one, Milf Hunter. <laughs> uh, Van Bissaka always tackles and 99% gets it right. 100% it does. Even Maldini can make a mistake. True. I'm not blaming him. Like, you know, uh, Van Bissaka is what you said, always have 99% accuracy when he goes for the tackle. But what the hell again will let this slip? But what if he didn't? I'm proud of the boys at the end of the day. Mason Mount came in as well and took a yellow card for the team. It's all about sacrificing. So in a certain ways, you can say that, shit, we lost our head again in the 85 minutes and we lost that lead. But uh, this is football, right? This is football. It's very unpredictable. But was it necessary to launch in? If he didn't, would he have scored? Nobody really knows. We know what happens, and that is is that is it. Like, you know, it's a nice reality, isn't it? Danny B, what you're saying here, Kwambala carried this slab on his back. How about Willie Kwambala, the 19-year-old, almost making his full debut in front of the home crowd, and, you know, in the biggest match of English fixture history. Big up, Willie Kwambala. Guys, you can vote for the man of the match, please. You know where to vote for the man of the match. You see in the chat, you have the Q, Q 
questions and answers you have the link go and vote for the player ratings and man of the match um yeah listen yeah i understand the first half was like a, a, in a funeral like you know i understand that Kwambala, man of the match, according to Peter Elian Tenno. Wow, we have a numerous a good displays like Kobe Maino. Fuck me, what a goal, right? What a goal. And, and this kid turns 19 next week. What a goal. But still, Kobe Maino had a quite isolated game because he was left to do a defensive work. Casemiro, in certain ways, you can see that. He huffed and he puffed and he tried and he was good in in moments of spells, but you know we gotta do better. We gotta do better in that midfield. So, did the changes come a little bit too late? Was it weird to sub out like you know Ganacha? That was your threat. Rashford went out with an injury. Rashford did what Rashford did as per usual, doing his Xbox setting, bearing his ground to the sun like a ostrich, bearing his the ostrich always buries his hand in. And just protects it's not there like you know head is gone i don't really know i don't know like you know uh, uk strengths Klopp against manchester united season <laughs> take an l Klopp. i agree i mean it's so good in a way that we actually i mean imagine if we won imagine uk strengths if we won but i take this draw i do take this draw it doesn't feel like a dross at the end of the day you know because the top four is gone for us realistically speaking there is a mathematical possibilities you look at like you know who villa's going to play i know spurs going to play later on but then spurs going to play like you know city liverpool united if, yeah, if, yeah eight games to play now guys it's all in the hands it's funny how the team can turn up for the liverpool game but it's not the liverpool game that worries me in the this instant it is the lesser teams because we're playing away at bournemouth and I, this is this is what I fear: the Fulhams, the Bour the Bournemouths. This is where we usually drop points. We we shouldn't drop points anyway. Um, Barman, what you are saying, yeah, Bruno was mixed up in decisions, hundred percent. I thought Bruno was poor in the first half. I thought everyone was a little bit poor the in the first half. But second half, Bruno, when when, when that goal went in. I went mental, right? Really mental. And not even to talk about Kobe Menas, brilliant, brilliant like slot in the right corner. What a shot. It's just sad that this will be overshadowed by the, you know, the final score and the penalty from Moish Salah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If, why do we have to always concede a penalty at the dying minutes? I just gonna ca catch my breath at the end of the day because you know that Liverpool will always come strong. Um they always find their luck. But this wasn't luck. Do you reckon it was a straight, straight pen, right? And I think that Casemiro could also have been sent away. I mean, wow. Jesus Christ. There was instance that, that the referee let the play go. So was Anthony Taylor okay? Or did he just let, that, let the play flow? I have no idea at the end of the day. I'm so wind up wind up Danny B is agreeing with alien tenor that uh, Kwambala was the man of the match 40 of you now tuning in i haven't seen the post-match reaction show and um yeah lilis agree that Kwambala is your man of the match milf hunter is saying mayno played poor great goal but he's been uh been great this year but not pre pretended to he played well well today his future and he's listen, there's too many words, Milf Hunter. There's certain games what you know what I said, like you know, he had more of a defensive duty, but what he did off the ball was more impressive. And you know, the the goal contributions that he did as well. So it's so good. Um, we could have been more possessive in in the um, more in control. But um, listen, so how are you feeling? Right, is two two a fair crack of the whip of result? Or do you reckon we got robbed at the end of the day? Uh, with me in the studio, just coming in raw is Jarvis Cocker. How are you doing, Jarvis? Talk to me, Jarvis. Are you happy with this two two draw? I'm happy with the second half. I think yes. we all are. We show some fight. We show spirit. Uh, we played uh, toe to toe against Liverpool. And I think we did quite well the second half. Um, we should have done better in the first half, obviously. Mm. 
We still what see the same uh, deficiencies in Ten Hag's tactics. There was a yeah. big gap in the middle. You could see uh, Liverpool running straight to our midfield again and yeah. again. Casemiro was tired, uh, but we had the spirit. We fought well in the second half. I'm, I'm really impressed by the young uh, centre back, Willy uh, Kwambala. Yeah. I think he was uh, he was fantastic. We talked about him in the, in the pre pre show, and um, yeah, he he uh, he uh, got the confidence now and the experience to to express himself. So I think he was yeah. one of the the best players in the, on the pitch. I think, but uh, so all in all, two two is a fair result. You know, I think we should be lucky. We could have been uh, down four nil after the first, first half. half. So yeah. I'm not complaining, yeah. even though one point is not enough for us to to fight for the Champions League. But yeah. it is what it is. It isn't this it is. game who uh, who's destroying our Champions League right. chances next season. There's two points I want to I want to sort of pause, and I just also want to read Twalan Bapiri. We got Twalan is always what ifs uh with us but glad it wasn't a loss i totally agree but you know willie kwambala like you know again it's been given a chance like he's a young player 18 19 years of age french international fantastic like you know this is for the future this is a glimpse into the future of the center back and you know i'm glad to see what is made of and i was really happy with this performance big up philip how you doing hey philip <laughs> uh, philip <laughs> yeah um so what made a difference? Like, you know, we, we were speaking in the first half and I, I thought like, you know, the first 10 minutes was we started, you know, fast off the block, similar to what yep. we did in the FA Cup. But then as per usual, we kind of zone off a bit and let them sort of dominate. I think it was a kind of, of a mismatch. Like, you know, they had more energy. We're lacking that, you know, Carabao energy, like the Red Bull energy. So what did you think was the difference in the second half? Hey, Philip. Hey. <laughs> uh, what made the difference in the second half? And what, what made us turn around? I, well, basically, it was the goal. Because he started out uh, in the same way the first 10 minutes before we scored a goal. And suddenly, Old Trafford exploded. Oh, yeah. uh, the, the, uh, the, the spectators uh, got behind the team. We could hear them well. Wow. It was uh, fantastic. Okay. The best you can see Old Trafford was, was today, how they responded to that goal. And uh, and after that, the players, they 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 just went ballistic. The fighting spirit uh, went through the roof, and uh, you could uh, you could actually see them. But again, from a tactical point of view, I'm uh, I, I I'm glad I have here because I could <laughs> like you like this because it was it was terrible, you know. And then we play so open, but. Uh, and then again, Liverpool also like to 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 invite us into the game, and and mm -hmm. you know they were getting that that centre back, uh, that young centre back. I, I'm not sure his name again. What, what's his name? The, um, yeah, Kwarashi. Yeah, yeah. You know, this big mistake, and it will haunt him for a long time because that will probably yeah. decide the, the title race for Liverpool. And um, oh, look, yeah. I don't care. Looks like Klopp is in shock. Klopp is crying. What people are saying. And this is what I want to see. I don't care. Um, listen, at the end of the day, I, I said it in the warm up. Like, you know, if we can stop Liverpool win the title, even if it's draw, I'm bloody happy. I'm taking this. Um, poke him, then thrust. Oh my God, what a name. <laughs> poke him, poke, then thrust. Um, Liverpool should have been smashed, but finishing is wild. This is per usual when we play Liverpool. Falling us out the window. Everyone mm -hmm. goes gun ho I love this football. It was a great football game, to be honest. Right, it's a game mm -hmm. of two halves. Um, listen, I want to talk about um, Kobe Maino. Do you think that it was a more disciplinary performance from Kobe Maino? He was told to sit back and defend more, but he he was giving a more of a free range in the second half to go more a little bit forward. And what made the difference? Like you know. Um, with Casemiro as well. Do you think Casemiro was a little bit dodgy and did you think that Casemiro grew more into the game? Oh, hello, Philip. He's filming. Yeah, he's <laughs> filming. Philip. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about Kobe Maino in a certain sense. Like, you know, do you agree what I'm saying here that his um, defensive role was more in the first half yeah yeah, half, yeah 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 he went more he, forward the thing with with kobe is he he has the ability he has the skills to take down the ball and do something with it he can dribble out of tight spaces and we can see him trying that all the time and he's so good you know his spatial awareness when he received the ball under pressure he always finds a space where to go with the ball 
uh, mm. away from the Liverpool uh, defender, and 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 the defending from Liverpool was really good today. They they hunt like yeah. uh, like a wolf pack that. on on the on the ball carrier all all along. The two to three guys all the time running against us. So so we didn't have a lot of time. First half looked like there was a hot potato every time we had the ball because yeah, the, they, they stressed us out. But Kobe Maynou, he took the game by the scruff of his neck, took down the ball, and wow. he, he started wow. to create. So so for me, Kobe Maynou, what a player, you know. We have wow. a gem in, in Kobe. Yeah, I, I received a WhatsApp message from an Arsenal fan. He goes, Kobe, bloody Maynou, you beauty. Yeah. Of course, you're celebrating because we now um, destroyed Liverpool's uh, title race because now Arsenal is still on top on 71 points. This mm. is a beehive. 71 is Arsenal's. Liverpool is on 70. Mar Manchester City on 70. Mate, 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 mate. Um, mm. Big up, second half, according to my opinion, yes. Um, it's so frustrating that we have to lose, I mean, that we, that we have to concede on a penalty, but on an open play, second half, we won that second half. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Well, Liverpool had uh, 10 shots and I think we had nine. So uh, there was an uh, even game. I'm, I haven't seen the, the possession stats from uh, second half, but I think we were uh, almost 50-50, maybe 45-55. Yeah. Liverpool yeah. had more... Um, longer attacks they put it, put us on the pressure um but I, from on the critical side i must say the subs from ten hag Weird. subbing off uh, garnacho i and and not replacing him with another counter attacking player was a was a mistake because liverpool came higher up the pitch and put yeah. us under immense pressure the last 10 minutes so for me i think uh, he should have subbed him for um for Ahmad, for example, yeah. because he would he would uh, have a similar threat when it comes to, yeah. to counter attack. But because we had our chances, we won the ball because we were aggressive. The aggressiveness. We Mason Mount came on, Amrabat came on. They were both really aggressive, and and Kobe Maynu was aggressive. So so this was the thing. We we had our chances, and and um, and the transition uh, chances uh, faded away because we didn't yeah. have. Uh, have the 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 pace and uh, and sting up up front after yeah. Ganacho left left the Fair field. Assessment. Because if I look at Liverpool, like Klopp gambled as well. Like you know, he took out Gar and Darwin Nunes. He put in like you know Cody Gapko. He put in the pot noodle head. What's his name? And it mm. looks like a one minute noodle, Harvey Elliott and stuff like that. So yeah. and J Joe Gomez. But I th I thought oh well this is brilliant because Klopp is doing the same mistake as what he did in the FA Cup. But I thought, you know, when Rashford came off, I said, fair play, like, you know, go, go rest Rashford. And now all of a sudden we started to play like, you know, Ganache on the left and, you know, um, Anthony on the right and mm -hmm. Hoyland in the middle. And I was like, this is good, right? So I was a little bit um, disappointed that he subbed up Ganache because all of a sudden these two wingers are keeping it wide and offering a threat, like, you know, running at it. So I was just a little disappointed. I could understand why he did it because he wanted to solidify, like, you know, to secure the points. But all of a sudden, you sub in Mason Mount, um, you take out Ganacho, put in Sofia Namrabat. Mm -hmm. You all of a sudden, you lose that threat. But there was instances where we're bursting forward to kill the game. I think it was two counter attacking moments we, which absolutely didn't um, capitalize. So I think it was, I think it was um, tired legs at the end of the day. I think. You know, fair and square, the battle for it. They played for the manager. You can tell uh, they don't, didn't down tool and they played for the fans. And I'm proud of it. Yeah. At the end of the day, Vicky mm. just gifted 10 memberships, by Ooh. the way. <laughs> oh, I don't have any. Oh, wow. Do you have anything that you can see who got gifted membership? Yes, I have my phone right here right. so I can read them out. The Ferocious, Joseph, Joe Star, Mark Parks, Del Grey, Robin Mayher, uh, Ker Fluffles. Gregory Burke, Shaky, Hale Fox, Garrett Mercer. Yeah, and Garrett Mercer was the last one. So yeah. uh, welcome to the club. And thank welcome you, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Vitterberg. Thank you so much. How are you doing, Vicky? You have the link, Vicky, if you want to come in and have a say as well. But yep. I understand you are with family. So thank you. Big pat on your back for you, Vicky. I send me my hugs, all my hugs and kisses to you. Alien Tenno comes in with a super chat. Big up, Alien Tenno. Philip, sing to daddy. Never going to give you the... <laughs> <laughs> Where's Philip? Can you sing? Never going to give... No, I can't. He can't. Um, what else is in my kitchen, in my head at the moment? I mean, what a mad game. Um, what a mad game, think, yeah. 
I, I don't think we we did that. I think, I think oh, we, we we can talk about the penalty. Yeah, penalty. We, sure. I have something to say about the penalty because say. the penalty. Okay, it looked stone wall at the, when you saw it, but when you saw the 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 rerun in slow mo, Fambisaka didn't didn't touch no, him. Didn't That's touch the thing. Him. He just fell over Fambisaka. So how? How do you assess it? Was it a penalty or wasn't it? I said it in my opening statement when I opened the show. Uh, when I looked back, when, when they played in replay, no, he didn't. Um, but a lounge is a lounge. You know how the referees are in Anthony Taylor. So you can watch it in replay again. He didn't really touch him, honest to God. He missed the ball. It was a lounge. And th this it looks more dramatical when you when you look at it. But... Come on, that was another softy, right? Another softy, similar to where where Dalo did on uh, what's his name, this Mandeleki, whatever his name was, when he tripped mm. over and just caught him a little bit with his arm. I don't know. You never know with the refs and VR. Like you know, at the end of the day, I think that's like oh, they want to be dramatical. Eighty-five minutes. Let's give it like you know. I'm tired of it, man. Seriously. Um, um, I, I have the incidents here, Mick, and, and I can show it once so everybody pay attention. No and copyright strike, upload please. Time, so there will be no copyright no, strike. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so so here you go. And and the thing is, this is ultra slow. You see positioning, and at this yeah, moment, yeah. everything is okay. Pambisaka tries to launch, and I think he, he has the control over the ball in a way. But Elliot get get his left foot on the outside, a touch on the ball, and that's yes, the thing. Correct. Yeah, and you see it, there. Yeah. Oh, he didn't touch him at all. He and didn't. He just fell. No, that was not. Do it again because we have no sound. So you can see it again. Okay, everybody. He pay touched attention. a little bit of his shin pad there because yeah, his shim is a dummy. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't touch him at all. That was not a pen. <laughs> it, it's that a very pen? strange. How's that? A so I, don't, I don't know what what the VAR thinks if that was a pen or not. When you looked at it uh, in uh, in live, yeah, it was a, it was a penalty right away. But when you look at it in slow motion, he didn't touch him. He did not touch him. This so, so again a weak yeah. soft penalty against us. The third soft penalty in two games. We are not lucky with the referees. No, they have they have a bloody agenda against us, man. Seriously, that that was a soft one. I must agree. Um, damn. <sighs> now I'm angry when I watch that in replay. Yeah, really. You watch the replay because I, I didn't think of it. You know, you and you didn't see Fambisaka or anyone protesting much either because everybody, yeah, okay, they accepted it's a penalty. Yeah, they didn't touch it. Who was the man of the match? Guys, man of the match decides by you. Listen, go into chat. You can see pinned in the uh, questions and answers. There's a link to the website where you can do your player ratings. Do it right now because we're going to go into the player ratings. This is us talking to you. This is us analyzing the game. It's only me and Jarvis. For for, for some re weird reason, I sent out the link, but nobody's coming in, right? So yeah. It's just I have a couple, couple of comments here. Uh, Wiki asks, "What's the point of VAR?" And that's True. a good question because now we've seen three times in a row that we are don't intervene when we need them. So, so VAR uh, is is not helping. They didn't United. even know. They didn't and even then, intervene. No, it went very quick. Johnson comes in. Fambisaka's left leg touches right. Yeah, there was a slight touch with the tip of Fambisaka's shoe. That like this. That's it. And and he fell down like a sack of potatoes. And uh, Craig Warby comes in and it said, as always, you give the ref an excuse to give a penalty and they give it nine out of ten times. And and right. that's true. That's 100% correct, Craig. Right. Listen, uh, just in case, go do your play ratings. I'm just putting in here in the chat. Guys, here it is. Uh, I thought I pinned it in the uh, Q&A, like, you know, in the, you know, the, the poll section, whatever you can see. But here is mufcrealist.tv. Just go in there and you can go on the tab player ratings, man of the match. You can't miss it. 100% guys, because we're going to do this as well. And you will decide the man of the match. We're going to just go one by one. Fair, 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 fair. Listen, mm. <sighs> penalty, no pen. We've been hard done so many times. And I, I do suspect that. This needs to be looked at. Oh, you know, penalty VR is there for the to correct the clear and obvious. They didn't even look at it by the looks of it. They just went quickly, mm. boom, get over it. And again, yeah. how did they find that extra eight minutes again? Add on. 
yeah. if you got a critical well, well you had the incidents with Dallo and um and Luis Diaz when they fell uh down the this type uh, pitch of uh, Old Trafford I think they they were injured for two minutes or something so there was a little bit of of, of those but the thing is uh the referee I think he did a good job uh, all in all you know maybe maybe Kwambala should have a red card he came in with a straight leg showing his uh, his um, his uh, studs and uh, Casemiro's last tackle that was a Stone that was goal. a straight red that was a red so we were lucky you know i think the referee just let it uh let it slide because there was yep. just 10 seconds left of the game i know i know so it was like ai program it. okay it's casimir again let's not create a paper paper drama again let it mm. slide <laughs> because if you look at it it was a straight red in my opinion less so yeah. big up less so football big up you to you less so how are you doing less so um less so yeah, yeah. hey let so Hey, yeah, South yeah, Africa yeah. in the house. Safa in the house. Safa. I can't think of uh, much. Um, it was such when you sleep on it. I'm not upset. I'm quite happy that we put a spanner for Liverpool's um, title race. You look at the table at the moment. We are on 48 points, eight games to play. Spurs have played um, have 40, 57. So we're nine points drift. Yeah, it's it's gone. There's no, there's no Champions gone. League next season. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. We we just got to accept it. It's better to accept it. You know that. Yeah, there's a theoretical chance if we win the next seven games or something, we can have 21 points. Maybe that's enough. But nah, let let's just give it a rest. You know, it is what it is. It's been a bad season. Let's enjoy the rest of the season, and that's why yeah. I'm not upset today because today I, I I witnessed good football in the second half. Right. The first 10 minutes was brilliant as well. Like, you know, how we started. We started fresh, bright. But there, there's always that gap that needs to be addressed. And mm. that could be addressed in the summer, to be honest. Um, anyone, do you, anyone want to come in and have a say? Or should we just go straight to the player ratings, my friend? Yeah, I just want to address some of the comments before we go to the player ratings. Uh, Jonathan Borg comes in and says, Jarvis, can you talk about the, the first half uh, um with the ten hogs uh, tactics that killed us cool. yeah, yeah you are right jonathan again we could see the big gap that we always talk about uh but the first half uh, was uh, for me about liverpool's intensity in her in their press play yeah. and and aggression and and it put us totally off because we we didn't know what to do every time we had a the ball li there were three liverpool play players on the ball carrier boom so so we didn't have we didn't have any composure and, and didn't know what to do when that happened um uh, tactically i would say i would say uh, liverpool didn't press us that high up when we were uh we were... jesus christ yeah kids it's okay man yeah, it's okay yeah, we understand yeah, yeah and uh liverpool's press play again but i have to go <laughs> check Sorry. yes He's talking about Liverpool's press play again. Yeah, so I can continue Jarvis' sentence because I concur what he's saying. Um, in terms of the, there were more, they had more energies in that midfield, like, you know, comparing to Kobe Maino. And Kobe Maino is not the fastest. Casemiro, we know, is not the fastest either. But the, their midfield in terms of Subosly, you know, McAllister is very combative. And they're kind of like the overrunners in the first half. But I think at the end of the day, like, you know, we, we, we turned this around. At least we could have been more clinical as well. We could have scored as well. We, we had zero shots on target while they kept peppering us. So I think in the first half, we were more focused on then defending, like, you know, than actually going forward. And we couldn't even get the ball out of, you know, our own half, to be honest. And, all, in, and when we did have hold of the ball, we couldn't even take care of it. So that was a, a first half that could have ended up in a catastrophe but in a way it was a, a serenity feeling like that we even they, they got in that corner like set pieces again and nobody was marking you know luis diaz and if you look at how luis diaz he slots it between the defender and onana and there's nothing onana could have done oh actually onana i think he had a little bit of a hand on the ball but um other than that like you know second half was the half for me you know, I don't know what you guys are saying as well. Um, Jarvis is taking care of certain matters, but Jarvis is back in the helms. Yes. I just finished off your sentence there to say that I think that we were more 
focused on the defending in, in the first half because we realized our frailties like in the midfield. We couldn't go toe-to-toe in the midfield. Mm. If you look at it, Casemiro, it doesn't have the legs. Um, Mainu is not the fastest either, but if you look at who they have, like, you know, mm-hmm. um, Saboslai, wow, what a runner he is. Yeah. You know, you know that, you know, McAllister, always combative, right? So I think second half was better. Yeah, I mean, I don't doubt second half was was much much better. Uh, the thing is, I think Liverpool uh, baited us a little bit. They they didn't press with a with a high high press. They pressed us with a mid block, and and they went aggressive when we were trying to play out from the back. When we started, Liverpool just uh, stood on on the halfway line Ooh. waiting for us. And wow. But they were waiting, and and when when we were trying to play out, Maguire, it was dreadful today when he yeah. tried to play out, and yeah. then it's so he was so dilly dallying on the ball, yeah, he was way too long time, yeah, and, true. But the problem is we didn't have any any good ball players uh, in in the middle to play out. Uh, Kwambala, I wouldn't put that responsibility on the young uh, young uh, kid. And, we had, uh, uh, we had Harry best. Amas. We had Harry Amas on the bench, youngster. We had um, Habib as well on the bench. Still, it's a mm. big task to throw him in against the Liverpool. But you, you mentioned a point that I forgot there, and that was actually Harry Maguire. Um, again, slow in possession, slow as an oil tanker, holding like you know, not even finding the passes. So again, like uh, this is what we had. I just came to realization that this was what we had, and he was like you know, got dispossessed. It. I think two times, but again, instead of driving forward, he was just didn't know what to do really, like you know, getting stuck. Mm, mm. So to come away with a two-two with with you know two centre backs, you know, a youngster, nineteen-year-old, lifting Harry Maguire up. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, Spurs just scored one nil against Forest. Apparently, well, oh. well, that's it. Spurs scores against Forest, but the next. Next four games will be tricky for Spurs. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Cool. Yeah, it's um, true. We 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 can't take Spurs. Spurs is is uh, is having a tight grip on on that top four at the yeah. moment. Looks like. Yeah. yeah, Villa. Do you think they will crumble because they're already starting to crumble a little bit? Will I have have a lot of good players and and against mm. weaker teams they win their games. The problem is against the better teams. But I don't know how many how many games do they have left against good teams. They have well, Villa has won. Villa has played thirty two. Yeah, we have played thirty. So they played what two games more than us, right? Yeah, they have six six games left then. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they so have they, to lose at least half of them yeah, for us yeah, to. Spurs is played now all of a sudden one more than us. Wait, wait a minute, because we we have one lesser game, I think. We'll we have just... Arsenal coming up next. Then they have a Bournemouth yeah. or, uh, and Chelsea, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, and they have Liverpool and Palace. So let's say they will lose against Liverpool and Arsenal and win the remaining four games. Mm. Uh, that will uh, that will end the the top five story for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, it is what it is, and we can always can always blame on blame on the players, like right? you know, there's there's games you shouldn't have lost, and it's always the lesser teams, right? So, the Premier League, you win, like you know, to, you know, you go to play away against the lesser teams, and you, even if you don't play well. You should have got a good line. If we won over the Chelsea, it would be a different situation. But right now, I just want to see out the season. I just want to see, like, you know, play good football, throwing some youngsters, X, Y, Z. Mm. So big up everyone that's watching right now. Smash a like button, please, because I know that everyone is now watching the Tottenham game. And, yeah, you have... I just want to say one thing and bring out one player. Um, Neil Driscoll, are you watching, my friend? Because I just want to say something. Today, Bruno Fernandes had a brilliant game. Um, at least the second half, uh, he was good. He was creative, but his defensive actions today was was uh, was immense. He he had so many ball recoveries, defensive actions, and 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 he won so, uh, a lot of duels, uh, ground duels. Uh, I think he won sixty percent, and that's pretty good for for Bruno. Um, so today, and we could see him running back, and one time he cleared the ball uh, right in front of Salah when Salah was through, and he, he had a very, very, yeah. very much running, and, and he covered a lot of space. So today was a captain performance, and the first goal, you know, that's brilliant. That's so, wow. so, I'm, 
I'm so glad that Bruno was the one who uh, who got the ball. You know, and he sniffed it out. He understood what he, what was going to happen. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a coincidence that Bruno uh, intercepted that ball and and no. he scored from 45 meters. That's an amazing goal. You know, so, uh, he, today was a captain performance. I'm it proud was 100. And you know, I I I open up this video by talking about a little bit of the um, you know this rivalry, red hot rivalry history and. You know, these, these legends of the game that, you know, you can reflect these goals that you can sort of attach yourself to certain, you know, because I call this a, some people they don't say it's a derby, but it is a derby for me. It's always been a derby, right? Mm. Until City came to life. So for me, this is a red hot derby. And there's moments where you remember, goals that you remember, yeah. you know, this goal, Bruno's goal was amazing. This is this this goes down in the history books to way. And Kobe Maynard's goal. So we had two fantastic goals in open play in open play mm -hmm. right yeah. they had a set piece goal and a penalty mm -hmm. so you can look at the stats to say well shots on target shot them this but we're talking about open play here we scored in open play so i'm proud of that yeah 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 we had open play and and you know now we are seeing more and more a a style from you know you can't say that uh, ten hag doesn't have a style Either you like it or not, you know, from a defensive point of view, I don't like our style, but we are we have clearly a style. We play direct, we play on transition, we always try to to attack with pace and power and uh, and a lot of people running. And uh, it is what it is. It leaves us exposed uh, when it comes to defensively, but uh, going going yeah. forward, we, we are actually having a, some sort of sting at the moment. We do. I believe yeah. You have actually a first thing back, like you have a response from Neil Driscoll to say about to give Bruno some credit. Ha ha ha, Jarvis. So he heard you, you know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I wanted to say this because think people think I have an agenda against Bruno. I'm not. I'm, I'm just expecting more from him. Yeah. He, he is our our maestro in a way. So he needs to put in performances like this mm. game after game. Will Man United big up Willie? How you doing, Willie? Willie, I'm. I'm glad in a way that it's not a loss because if it was a loss, you would have the media writing the headlines, Ten Hag out, Ten Hag this. Um, I don't see him going anywhere. There's no plan. And in fact, there's shortage of managers. I think they're planning with him. And the latest, what I understood, they were planning with him, the US tour and everything. He's got one year left on his contract with this right backing and support. What Willie is saying here, he needs to playing a new contract with Ten Hag. I can't wait to finally break the Glazer cycle once and for all. Do you agree with that? No, I mean, when you turn, when when Willie is saying here that break the Glazer cycle is because the Glazer cycle has been sack manager after eighteen months. Now, would it be the first time since Sir Alex Ferguson left that you're actually seeing through uh, the manager's three years tenure contract? Yeah, I see Poppy is in the house. <laughs> the manager in and out debates. Do we do we really want to go in on that now? <laughs> Hang on, I had to mute, mute Poppy because yeah, there was a lot yeah. of noise. Yeah. Do you really want to go in on the on the manager in or out? No, I don't want. To. No. You know, in a way, I I will say, I will say, I'm more ten hog in now than I was before today's game. I, I it looks right. like the players fighting for the manager, and I can see a clear style of play in a way. But okay. we still haven't addressed the issues, the issues with our tactics. The problem is. I'm not 100% sure if it is the players or if or the tactics that makes us so exposed. I'm confused. I'm confused. Yeah, Guys, if you look Casemiro, we look so slow. That's the thing. Yeah. We look so uh, he's got to go. Uh, Casemiro's got to go. It's, it, I think they, know, they will sell him and they will get rid of him. Um, one that is here that has been running the um, overall watch along is Power Hour out for a power walk. How are you doing, Power Hour? Puppy. Oh, I'm happy we didn't lose today. I'm so, so happy. I, you know, um, I'm sort of having a little bit of a decision making moment as well, just like Chavez, because our players are not as bad as we've been thinking they are. After this performance, this is a title chasing Liverpool that we managed to just pull the handbrake a little bit on that title charge. How is that possible? Where was this all season? You know, and and there is a little bit of 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 uh, uh, second thoughts that are starting to creep up in my mind because you know we we saw Salah being wasteful. We saw uh, Nunes. We always know he's 
he's he's a <laughs> Nunes is Nunes. But the main thing is like is like we're not as bad as we we we. I thought we were. You know, I was on. I'll be honest and say, of course, I I made emotional predictions, thinking maybe we'll win, maybe we'll we'll draw. But like deep down in my heart, I was expecting an annihilation. And that first half, the way it started, it pretty much just was just confirming that. And then the way we started the second half as well, you know, we were not in the game. We were just chasing shadows. And then next thing, it's a it's a mistake from uh kwanzaa a, a mistake from kwanzaa that we capitalized on and then mm. all of a sudden our fortunes changed so i i i'm scratching my head just like jarvis that's honestly where i am i'm like what the hell was that how come we haven't seen a lot of this this season and also how come we haven't seen willie come while earlier you know yeah. this 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 boy deserves like he put in a stellar performance today and and i mean a, a lot of other uh, players like Kobe, like Onana as well, that was so excellent. Like, it, it, you know, they they bring so much to the team. You can only be excited about the future moving forward. You know, and yeah. and yeah, yeah, mm. that's 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 where I am with with, you know, like this game. It's still like I'm processing the emotions. I'm processing what I just saw, and I'm happy we didn't get annihilated. In the in the uh, halftime, I came in as a voice of reason. I told you exactly what's going to happen, and I was right. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I said if we just get I, I believe we have it in our tank to score one one and then we'll go two up two up. Now puppy's running, he's on his bike. Cool. So bots, you want to be with us to do the player ratings before we close the shop? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So guys, the player ratings are there. MEFC realist.tv match ratings. Go into the site, vote now. Go to McKenney's here. Puppy, stop it, buddy. Listen, Tenu saying, Papa, stop it. We are bad. <laughs> LFC spaced out. No, we didn't. Actually, no, we didn't. Bacon, buddy, what are you saying here? Sir Alex Ferguson faced Liverpool 65 times, winning 30, losing 21, mm -hmm. drawing 14. True. Let's do the True. play ratings, guys. Yeah. Yay. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring Andre, it on. Bring it on. Andrew and Anna. Um, I thought. First half, he did a you know fantastic shot stopping moment. You know, on on what was it on Sobo Slice shot, right? But he, he couldn't stop that. You know, Luis Diaz shot. He almost did, right? But he went between him and the defender. Guys, do you reckon he had a good game? Yeah, he was oh, good. Oh, Nana kept us, kept us, you know, sort oh, of more or less within sight of 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 uh, right. salvaging something from the game. So I, I rate Donana's performance. I think he, right. it's more than Breaking a six. News. Breaking news, guys. Spurs. Spurs, Forest is just 1-1. One, one. They're leveled. Here yes. we go, guys. Get you the mean... voting skin. What? Wow, wow. Okay. Quickly, Onana, what you give him? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From, from me, from me, Onana. it's a seven. Oh. It's a seven. Uh, yeah. Uh, seven for me too. Jarvis, Danny B. Yeah, I give seven. him a almost a seven point five, but I will give him a seven. Okay, I guys. think it was All right. good. You guys saying seven? I agree with seven. I thought he's growing and growing and growing, and boom, I give him a seven. Let's see, seven point three were equal as two peas in a pod. Degodolo again. I had a fantastic performance today. I thought Degodolo was really good, bombing up and down, defensively strong. Um, I want to hear from you, Jarvis, Papi, Dego, Didi. Yeah, I think uh, Diogo was was good. Not his best game, of course, but uh, he, he had a lot of uh, running to do, and and he was uh, he was had okay control on his side, I would say. So uh, I give him a seven. A seven, same as me. You agree with that, bots? Six point five for me. Six point five. I can't. You know. Spin. I, I, I feel, I feel like he 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 didn't have like for me from my perspective he didn't have a lot of like exceptional moments that like warrants like something like a seven or seven point five so it's a six six point five for 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 me for Jalo. Okay, so seven it is then seven. I pull the trigger on seven and we have a six point six, which is damn close to seven, guys. It's damn mm. close. Um. I know what people's going to say. They're going to give a Willy Kwambala manager. This guy deserves his roses. Uh, would we give as high as an eight or a nine? 
um on the circumstances and you know it's one you, you don't have much much experience how he grew into the game um the tackle he had you know that was almost a red but it shows some spirit some passion and and uh, and i think we have uh, a lot to come from this guy and um i would like to i would like him to start many more games this season because i think he's he, he looks really good um yeah. today i will give him on based on performance uh purely he deserves maybe a seven but you know he's a young kid and uh, playing at old trafford against liverpool and 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 doing it in in this way uh, i think he deserves an eight uh, for me an eight as well i pulled the trigger on eight do you agree with that bots eight for you as uh, well? 7.5 he got a yellow card that's that's that was as javis wow. mentioned you know well, he took that for the team he didn't yeah. he, he took that for the team so I, I the VAR said, room says uh kenneth comes in kwambala eight superfly yeah. 7.5 jordan uh jordan walls uh, wall comes in uh, nine um cool. willie or 8.5 so yeah listen eight or 8.5 people got jobs for handling the chat and the vr room because i pulled the trigger and we got 7.4 so we are almost to say eight we said eight you guys said eight and that's what matters let's move on to harry maguire uh, mr hot potato hot potato hot potato six solid solid he did i mean if we give kwambala eight harry maguire was a six Aerial duels, he won four out of six, and he was up against Nunes. Um, second half was was better. He won uh, nine duels. A um, lot of defensive actions. I think he had Seven. a good game, but he's so slow on the ball. And and yeah, and, it, and the thing is, he, he doesn't seem to react. He reacts really slow every time something dangerous happens. He, he automatically just back into our own goal, in a way. He doesn't mm. he doesn't play on the front foot so uh, i don't know you tell 6. me 6.5 for me this one point i see it's you guys six. In, it's it's a six six from you. i see you guys in the chat room saying maguire seven uh jordan uh, wall is saying harry seven dj superfly is saying 6.5 danny b saying slab five and then we're going to move. And then somebody already voted for Deloitte 7 out of 10. But guys, what is important that you actually go to the MEFC Realist TV website and vote, put your voting in there as well. But it's always good to. Um, so I pull a bloody, I can't make it six and a half, but yeah, I put him a six. A six. 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 Oh, we are so close. We think alike. You know, Realist community, you think like us. 6.3 is your score. Bambisaka. I think he did a six as well. Yeah, he had a good game, but he was yeah, reckless on, on the penalty. Even though we didn't touch him, he was reckless, and we need, and we paid the price. I think it was it was good, but um, six six from me. Jarvis, his back his back leg touched him. His back leg touched him, and I think like it was just poor decision making by Wan Bisaka too. I'm usually a big fan of Wan Bisaka, but that moment right there is like you know there's no need for you to be slide tackling in the box anytime you do a slide tackle in the box you have to be 100 percent sure you're going to touch the ball so that and the significance of what that moment was for me i'm sorry it's a 5.5 for one saka yeah the penalty uh, giveaway deducts a point for me so it's a six and majority of you in the vr room saying i don't kennedy saying uh, Jordan is saying seven. Kenneth is saying six. Driscoll is saying six. Uh, Dan, Danny is six. Um, and Jamie Vane is so furious. He says no contact whatsoever. Scotty at the wheel defense says eight out of ten. Danny B. Mm -hmm. It has to be a six. It has to be a six. I'm sorry. I'm shaving off the point you cost us the penalty. I'm sorry. Let me see. 5.96 is what it is. Moving on to Casemiro. I don't know what to make. I think, I, mildly, I will give him a six. He tried, but you can see that his legs are gone, man. Mm -hmm. Should we be merciful? 
Well, he won. He won seventy five percent of his tackles. Um, he had the fourteen defensive actions, ten recoveries. So, so in a way, he did a, a good job. But he's Seven. all by himself. He's very isolated. He had he had a huge ground cover. Uh, my um, my critique of uh, Casemiro today is is on the ball uh, actions. He he had zero uh, out of five uh, accurate long balls. He's uh, he's sixty seven percent pass accuracy. So it was dreadful on the ball today, uh, and he should have had a red card at the end of the game. So um, I give him a, a six. Me too. Um, I think Casemiro is rusty still, or Kelling and Nigel. Uh, Papi, what are you saying? Casemiro, Casemiro is expired milk in the fridge for me, uh, and uh, I think it was probably one of his worst Man United performances in a while. And I, I, I just it's the for me it's the composure that he's starting to lack and the decision making. Of course, a pass needs two parties for a pass to be complete. I saw moments though where I'll give him credit for this. When we were 2-1 up, Hoyland was trying to run in behind and Casemiro like was, had an in incomplete pass and he was mad. Yeah, I saw him throw his hands at Hoyland and saying, you're supposed to be coming short. That moment there, I saw, I understood a little bit of his frustration, but the, the, there were so many other moments where I just feel like he's starting to look very, very much like a... Uh, 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 between him and Kobe Mano, it's chalk and cheese. It's different and he's the chalk. Mm -hmm. Kobe Mano is the cheese, and I like cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and say Casemiro, he was just marginally, marginally lower than Maguire. For me, 5.4. I give him a 6. He almost got it, won us the game at the end as well. So, yeah, I agree that his passes was shit. Everything was cr – I, I still believe that he's not in greatest form as of yet. We are playing like an our 50-50 Casemiro at the moment. I go with the 6. Boom. I – 5.4. Yeah. Danny B comes in with the 5. Jordan Wall, 7. Uh, Kenneth, Jordan, yeah. seven, 5. Casemiro five, five, five. Uh, from Neil, 4. He would think he was poor. Danny B comes in with the 5. So the VAR room gives him a 5 average, I would say. Okay. Magic Maino, uh, the boy that turns 19 next week. What a bloody shot that was, guys. <laughs> Did you see Klopp's face afterwards? <laughs> he could not Long believe face. it, man. Klopp face, yeah. Listen, uh, the fact that the Arsenal fans are, are texting me afterwards and saying how good uh, Maino is, I think that he's, um, what could have been done? Like, you know, he, he's running on fumes, man. Seriously, you're playing him week in, week, uh, week out, uh, defensively against Liverpool, alone. Yeah, I, I thought he was, man. Mm. Seven, seven and a half, then. No, higher, higher. higher 9.5, baby. 9.5. Yeah. Come on now. Nine what are we doing? I'll, I'll give him a straight nine. Straight nine? Yeah. I'm if just triggering you rates, guys. I would give him a 10, but he, he didn't. So, a nine. Just, guys. Listen, guys. I'm just here stirring you up. I'm just triggering. Please, guys, get your votes in as well. And do you believe that he was a nine or is the panel delusional? Eight, what Danny B is saying, a Kobe Mano seven. Jesus Christ. We have to move on. We have to pull the trigger so we can go back and watch football. For me, it's an eight. What a player. Uh, yeah. Based on the VAR room, uh, eight average, I, I will give him a nine because I think he's fantastic. But, uh... Okay. We listen to Jarvis this time. Okay. Jarvis. Can you ask Philip? What will Philip give him? I give him a 10. Okay, he will give him a 10. A 9 for me then. Okay, boom. You see, I said it, it was 8 and it was 7.6. So it wasn't it wasn't the case. The jury has spoken. Fernandez, captain's performance, second half. What would you say about Bruno here? I, I give Bruno a, a 9 from uh, for the captain's performance. He's running. He's, um, today, his goal was fantastic. The, the the way he never gave up, you know, and and he was he was his defensive actions today he was more disciplined. So uh, I, yeah, he deserves a nine from me. I think that yep. was uh, Bruno's best game so far this season. It, it was a game of two halves, Papi. Um, first half he was a six. Second half he grew into more of an eight and a half. What's your thoughts? Um, I total agreement there. Bruno is another nine that he grew into a nine. So I'm I'm wow. gonna second that. Yeah, I'm in agreement, hundred percent. Nine, 
Neil Driscoll is going 9.5. Kenneth is going Bruno 8. Uh, Jordan saying Bruno na, uh, 8, 9. My God, 7. 9.5. Wow, Driscoll agreeing with you. 9.5. Mm. Has to be then. Uh, my captain. Me and Driscoll, we always agree. <laughs> okay, so I put a 9. Let's see. I think he's going to be an 8. 7.3, guys. Yeah. Shame on you, Rashford. Forget about it. He it is my try. opinion. I think it was good. So, yeah, it is what it is. Rashford six, five. He tried, didn't work. Yeah, Bruno big up uh, Shabas as well. I can see you comment. Bruno worked so hard. I see that as well. Big up to you, Ismail. Uh, yeah, I see. Uh, Rashford, how would you score? He got out injured, or is it him dodging the bullet now to say he uh, he's going to be injured out for the rest of the season? Mm. he's Boxer got the Saka you. syndrome for me you know when Saka, Saka always like has a little bit of a, a stink of a performance he does the limp he has a mental injury that manifests itself in the body somehow so I think Rashford for me um, he, he, that that well, we're gonna see he's gonna be fine uh, in the next two three days so I think I think um, for me he had a performance that's a six I'll give him a six 5.5, but okay. Uh, six. Rush for mm. six, what you guys are saying. Let's move on. You agree? Six, Jarvis? Yeah, yeah well, I will give him a five, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah it, well, it became 5.5 according to your voice as well. Hoyland again, graveyard shift. Um, the link up man, he was so tired at the end. I give him a six. Yeah. He's, uh, he was good in his link-up play. You know, he had 90% pass accuracy, 9 mm -hmm. out of 10 passes. That's that's pretty good when, you, when you're going up against uh, Van Dijk. Um, his aerial duels, he didn't win uh, anything against Van Dijk. Um, but he was creative and he was on his best when he when he uh, had the ball and he got to turn and, and attack and run with the ball. And I think he, he created a lot of chances. You know, he was alone against... Two to three, uh, Endo, uh, Kwanzaa, and Van Dijk all all the time. So, so mm -hmm. we did a good job today, but it was a graveyard shift. So it doesn't deserve more than a six point five. Okay, what's your vote? Yeah, it was a seven seven for me. I think uh, you know lack of service is a big part of it, but also he he you know he 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 was a little bit like you didn't really see him pinning. The defenders like you know uh, where you want them to be on creating space for the for the late runner of the midfielder so i'm gonna give him a seven he right. was all right yeah, yeah. big up uh, and, and i go into the vr room see i see jordan is saying you, you're saying rasmus seven hoyland seven what you're saying kenneth um driscoll is saying six shabas is saying seven here you know, if you go what you guys are saying, like, you know, Luan France, big up to you. You're also saying seven. So, yeah, I go with you. And for football philosophy, Phil is in the house. Hard to give somebody yeah. a seven when they have nothing to do. 100%. Big up, Phil, as well. Good to see you. You have the link, but we are about to close off, close it off. So, okay, I go I go with what, what, what you guys are saying, but I believe it's going to be a six. Mm -hmm. 6.4. So, yeah. almost. We, we are thinking the same. Viva Ganacho. He tries and he tries, he didn't score, but fuck, he, this guy is good. This is the future. Yeah, but not his best game today. He works mm. hard. Uh, six. Six? Yeah. <laughs> but Yeah, yeah, I can't, you know, I think Rasmus had a slightly marginally better performance than mm. Ganacho. And and uh, I have to give him a six point five. I think you know he he tried his best. He tried his best, and we've been asking him to do a lot, covering so much ground, working so hard, and and you know, um, it just wasn't his game today. And okay. yeah, six point five. Jarvis, what is the VR room saying? What are they giving the vote for uh, uh, Ganacho? Um, yeah, we have Ganacho. We have a uh, Kenneth uh, coming in with a seven. Ganacho, Jordan, eight. Uh, Phil Standish comes in with a seven, Danny B seven, uh, Shabas uh, six for me. So, and uh, Neil Driscoll gives Ganacho a seven. So, I would say on yeah. average uh, 6.5 from uh, the VAR room. So, seven then it is. Then, boom, let me see 6.4, almost close, guys. Mm. Anthony Dos Santos came in as a substitute. <sighs> 
I, I don't know. There's nothing to say about five. Yeah, he worked six, hard. For me, yeah, I think he, 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 he continued his good form from the Chelsea game. I think he had a similar, similar performance. Uh, uh, seven for me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I agree with uh, Jarvis uh, spot on. I think Anthony actually was a little bit more. I saw more Anthony than than Gan like Ganacho was doing a lot of like unnoticeable like dirty work of tackling and and making sure that the press is 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 there every now and then. So, but I I have to give Anthony his credit and say he did really well. So a seven is marginally better than Ganacho. So yeah, big up to and Anthony. For that. And I see most of the VR rumors agreeing what you're saying. So I pull the trigger. Boom. I pull the trigger. So it's almost that we are married there. 6.6. Mm. 6, almost running up to a 7. Sophie and Amrabat, nothing to say. Came in, tried to solidify. A little bit rusty. I want to see more of Amrabat. But 6 for me. Mm. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. 6. Cool. Boom. Not going to waste my time. Yeah. We equal there. Mason Mount the same. I want to see more of Mason Mount. Um Again, coming off just the last 10 minutes, six as well, or five. Yeah, but I, I like Mason Mount. I like him. some kind of aura of arrogance uh, over, over him when he has the ball. You can see him like yeah. running and, you know, the, the tackle he did uh, to stop the Liverpool uh, transition. He got the yellow card. But, you know, that's that's the thing you need to do. So you, he he's clever. And I, I like that from Mason Mount. He's growing on me, you know. He's starting to, to be the kind of player I, I nice. hope he would be. So uh, nice. next next game, Mason Mount needs to start. Mace needs to start, and next game is Bournemouth. So Mason Mount, should we give him a six? Because that was just 10 minutes cameo. So I give him a six. I'll be the boss here. I'll be the captain, and let's see what you guys have pulled the trigger on. 6.5. I was wrong. You were right. 6.5. Now coming down to the manager's performance, I give this one to you, Jarvis. Ten Hag, did he get this right? Uh, I would go on, uh, for another setup. Uh, we were vulnerable. We had a big gap in the middle of the field. Casemiro was all alone. We knew uh, Liverpool will come with uh, with high aggression and intensity and and, and press play, but we uh, we didn't know how to handle it. We adjusted ourselves in the second half. That's good. Uh, we still uh, had problems playing out from the back when Liverpool just played with the mid block. They didn't press us. We didn't know what to do. And and uh, I think these are are small margins that Ten Hag can do better and and try to to uh, um, in, enhance our chances. So I I'm not super fond of Ten Hag. Uh, I th I give him a six. Yeah, I agree with the football philosophy or Phil Standish uh, as known saying first half five, second half a seven, so six for you. But. What's yeah, ten, ten, ten Hag is is, is confusing me because sometimes I'm wondering. As I said at the earlier part of uh, uh, when I joined the show, I said I, I, I'm scratching my head, wondering if it's the tactics or if it's the players, and what there's something that's not really, really um, uh, correlating in a positive way right now. What I want to say is it was very surprising in the lineup that he had. Uh, uh, Mason Mount and Anthony on the bench, you know, and mm. and because those guys are players he spent 130 plus uh, uh, on, you know, and and here we are like uh, seeing Marcus Rashford starting. There was a bit of a surprise, but you know, his imp his substitutions did not necessarily have like a a, a massive impact per se. So I, I'm just gonna go ahead and give him a reasonable seven and say you helped us. Uh, not be embarrassed today because um, I saw him on the touchline shouting. He tried his, like, I think this time I have to give him credit for that. Uh, I saw the camera looking at him a couple yeah. of times. He was really animated trying to uh, shout control, control. And, and But the thing that I'm not happy about is that every time we won the ball, we were just literally always going forward, going forward and not making Liverpool earn the ball sometimes. Sometimes you got to force the other team to just, like, really want the ball and 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 get that gets your players also a couple of touches and they become warmer and and know that next time when they touch the ball they know what they're doing so so i i i'm gonna give him a seven for ten hug you know yeah big up i'm also gonna give uh, ten hug a seven because he gave willy kwambala the chance when you look at the back line we're a little bit thin you know he gave confidence in willy kwambala 
uh, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's the way he's set up and it's the way we came back in the second half that I also see is an importance. But at the end of the day, like, you can see him screaming at the touchline, giving instruction. It's down to the players how they apply themselves. As a manager, you can just do what, you know, give the instructions. And this is how down to how the team is performing at the end of the day. To come away with 2-2, to be hardly done on a penalty, no, I certainly would like to give him a 7.5, you know, because this wasn't his fault at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just going to go with my gut feeling. I give him a seven because I know that most people are going to give him a seven anyway. So give him a seven, 6.2. Yeah. A little bit disappointing, but I, I think that comes down to what Phil Standish was saying. Like, you know, it's a, it's a game of two half. But anyway, we, we're forgetting one thing. Who is the man of the match? Uh, it was Man City and Arsenal. <laughs> 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 no, we're going to wrap it up, but guys, we want to hear what he, who is the man of the match. Who do you vote for your man of the match? Um, Bruno? I go with uh, with Phil's uh, choice here. Kwan Bala was my man of the match. I agree. I think Kwan Bala was really good. Or should I go for Bruno? Bruno on performance. Okay, Bruno for me. What? I have to differ with Jarvis and go with uh, the, the the guy who got us the point, uh, Kobe Maino. That goal from an unlikely position, like that, there was like three Liverpool Wolves trying to like hunt the hunt the ball from him, and he just did an amazing turn and put it in a place where no goalkeeper really can find that can save that ball. Honestly, um, so he was impressive for me in that moment and the celebration, everything. Well, of course, there's lots of like good players that had good performances, but Kobe Maino, he did it for me today. Big I, up to the young kid. I agree what you're saying and echo what you're saying, but on his first 90 debut, full full-fledged uh, derby Liverpool uh, under the floodlights. This guy was cool and composed and majority of the VRM is saying he was the man of the match. So yep. I going on the, not on sentiment that, you know, I understand um, we've been giving um, Kobe Maynard the man of the match m multiple cases. That goal was amazing, but I will, I want to give it to somebody new and that is Willy Kumbala. So I'm going to give him my star. Do you have any objections? No, no, no objections. I, I think I think Kambala was, you know, he who was also in my short list for for men of the match. So I I I, I have to agree with you, Mick, uh, with that how you said that. Yeah, yeah. but that the, the, right. it makes me just wonder what it would be like if we have Kam Kambala playing uh, with um, uh, Martinez, just like Jordan just said. Thank you for reading my mind. Like I, that partnership might be something that I can actually really suit. Uh, ten hard ball better than all the yeah. combi the million yeah. combinations that we've had in Central. Yeah, but you also save yourself in the market. Like now, you've seen what the kid is all about. Like you know, you can sort of build him up in the preseason and give him more run of games in the FA Cup and stuff like that. The saves you to go out in the market, right? The future is bright. We still have fantastic players coming in, and don't remember, don't forget that we did have a Harry Amos on the bench, eighteen year old. We also had this Habib, uh, what's his name, Habib Q something. I can't forget, can't pronounce. But we still have a very fantastic academy players as well. So, okay, I go with Kwambala. Boom. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to submit this. Let me see what happens. What is the verdict? Submit. Man of the match came out with Kobe Maino. Majority of you voted for Kobe Maino, man of the match, yep. which is 11.5%. And no happier is Poppy. Do you think it was a fair shout? Bro, Kobe Maino, as I said, for me, he got us the point. If, if he didn't score that, I don't know where the goal was going to come from. I know we were starting to ask questions to Liverpool, like especially in the second half, you know. But I, 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 I he bailed us out. We needed that goal badly. And Kobe, mint, mint finish, mint. Like he turned, he, he, he channeled Kobe Maino versus Wolves. And he, he's, he bailed us out again. And that's mm. the part that I'm excited about him adding that to his game, the long shots, and also goal, the other yeah. part that I that that I want to mention too is like also him being more physical in the area of balls. There's there's lots of areas to improve. He's still developing, and he's in the right path. And 
Yeah, please. More goals like that, Kobe. Can we give him goal of the month already? I know it's April 7th, but I think no, <laughs> we're no. not going to see it. Goal of the <laughs> month. Gonna... Definitely gonna... Uh, goal of the month, yeah. But the goal of the season is definitely Ganacho's bicycle kick. Of course, of course. Yes. And Runos. But if you look at this game against Liverpool, I, I, I can see that if you are, I see the boxing straight talk saying if you're happy with a lucky draw against Liverpool, then I'm definitely not win the league. I'm questioning your football in acumen. <laughs> um, you want right. to respond to that or should I respond to that? I'm uh, questioning Boxing Street's uh, 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 happiness acumen. Fam, if you're not going to be happy on a Sunday after a Liverpool, a title chasing Liverpool, I don't know when you're going to be happy boxing. I encourage you to seek some more happiness. I, I, I'm honestly going to say this this right now, we have to hold on to this and, and be happy about it. It's the time to be positive and say Liverpool could have steamrolled us. The way that first half was going and the, the way they started the second half, it could have been a, a five nil. If, if Salah had his yeah. shooting boots on, if Diaz wanted to score more goals, my bro. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. Preach. Preach. Now everyone is entitled for opinions, but the fact that we actually stopped Liverpool, like, you know, for, for taking the first spot, it's just, um, you got to be happy about that one as well. Um, yeah. That's about it, people. We, it's a uh, first. Yeah, one more thing, uh, Mick, before we, we end. I just want to bring up the penalty situation again, and I will ask the VAR room and the viewers a question. And I want you to go after the show into the non live comments and tell me your opinion. Was it a penalty or not? So I'm, we're adding this, and we are just watching it one more time in slow motion. Keep your eyes on the screen, uh, Poppy. You see here, Fambisaka puts out his foot, never touches him, and he drops down like you a sack don't of potatoes. Touch him. Do it again. Oh, yeah. He doesn't even touch him. Maybe with the tip of his of his right foot. No, he no, didn't. no, he didn't. He trips. His his it's right foot. He, there we go. I'm glad that you're sh you're showing that, um, Javis, because this is the thing. If you're going to try and tackle. A sliding tackle, right? A sliding tackle, you have to be 100% sure you're going to touch the ball. If you don't touch the ball and you – I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. There, he, of, of course, there's nowhere else Juan Bisaka can fall. I'm aware of that. But it was Juan Bisaka's decision to slide. And if you slide, then part of your body impedes another player. There's that contact on his, his – with his um, uh, 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 back foot, with his back foot, that's the one that, like – unfortunately we have to just be oh. realistic and say it's a soft touch it's a soft contact i agree but it's also like a sliding tackle inside the box so yeah, yeah but it's not touch, touch, touching him that's the thing it's not touching no, him and if you're touching him it's it's so minimal it's so soft the thing is i i, I can't wrap my mind around this why var didn't intervene Again, they didn't. They didn't. And like I go with what Phil Phil Standish is saying. Not seeing this angle. Did VR see? Of course, VR have the all footages, but they didn't intervene. They were so quick just to give it away, right? This is now when you look back at it, like you know. Clearly, he he jumps over his leg and he stomps on Van Bissaka's leg and falls. He drags Bambisaka. his right foot. He puts it down again and drags it with him. Scandalous. And, and runs into Fambisaka after. Scandalous. Well, yeah. There you see that this is the, the touch. Again. I'm sorry to say, VR, get a grip. Again, there will not be headlines. Realistically speaking, 2 2 is what on, is on the scoreboard, but. We, when you see that in retrospective, I think we're going to be. We got robbed. Maybe yeah. I should change my thumbnail after seeing that. Absolutely no pen, according to but what everybody Jordan's... get get your get your yes. comments in the non live section after the show. Yeah. It helps out the algorithms, and I will be there and uh, and continue the, the the debate. Sure, Brig. Listen, big up for all of you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Papi, for doing the the watch along as well. Jarvis as well. Say hello to your beautiful son, your sunshine there as well. Uh, win, lose, draw. We always hear draw is uh, the result. 2-2. Two, two. Thank you guys for participating in helping out to vote for the player of the match. And the player of the match was Kobe Maino, according to your votes. Guys, be beautiful. Have a very fantastic Sunday. And we shall see you to the next one. The next one is when, Jarvis? 
Yeah, you know, it's uh, Monday. Yeah. Monday, Jarvis Monday. is corner tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. UK. Yeah, everybody. We might have me and Stu Wally with guests. We'll maybe stand the here again. We don't know. Anyway, we will see who the guests will be and what the topic will be. It's so secretive, and I don't even know. Guys, big up to all of you. Love you all. Gotta leave you. Glory, glory, Manchester United. Let's go. We go again. Bye bye. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching MUFC Release TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the socials.